One brain cell. <laughs> One brain cell <laughs> <collectively. laughs> unite. Happy Thanksgiving if you're Canadian. The Watcher in the shadows. What is up with that? I love the way it looks. I would not buy this myself. Everything is just contradicting itself lately. Happy Thanksgiving if you're Canadian or I guess if you're not happy Monday I woke up and I remembered to actually turn off my alarm It is currently 8 42 and I'm gonna take my hot girl walk on days that I don't either have to go into the office Get to work from home or it's a holiday I like to take advantage and take my hot girl walk because if I'm going in the office There is like zero chance that I'm gonna get my steps in it is October 14th today Which also means that the October series is back for unsolicited advice. It is my favorite podcast around this time solely because they just read scary stories. It just puts you in like the Halloween spirit. So I'm so excited. This one is called The Watcher in the Shadows. It is chilly outside. It's a crisp four degrees. It's insane. So we're gonna wear a jacket over this obviously. This is literally my favorite jacket to wear for when the weather starts to dip down. Also for when I'm going on hot girl walks specifically because it is an athletic jacket. Like it was made to be a jacket you wear over like workout sets and stuff. It's from Joe Fresh. I got it last year. Our grocery stores actually carry Joe Fresh. I went to Fertino's one time and I went into the Joe Fresh section and they don't have this exact jacket anymore, but they do have a different version I was really tempted to get. But tell me this is not the cutest jacket. It's like quilted, padded up top, and then it's like fleece at the bottom, and it is line. You know how sometimes you get like fleece things and it's only fleece on the outside? What is up with that? My keys hold everything. Like it holds my wallet, it holds obviously my keys, my car keys. Something I've started to do is I put a scrunchie on it because when I go to like Pilates, I don't carry a bag. Like it's literally me, my water bottle, and my keys and my phone. I'm just raw dog in life. And sometimes I forget to bring a hair tie. Even though I go to an all girls gym, one time I asked them for a hair tie and they didn't have one. I'm never making that mistake again because I had to do Pilates with my hair down, which is not a big deal because you're not moving very fast, but it's just so annoying. I don't like to work out with my hair down. Is currently 5 16 now came home from my walk and i ate lunch because it was around like 11 o'clock so i guess technically it's french and then i fell asleep on the couch re-watching gray's anatomy episodes i have a package from amazon i re-landed on like coloring book tiktok decided i wanted to get new markers these are alcohol markers it comes with the little clear plastic and the little thing to swatch your colors on it also comes with white pen and a black pen. For the past like two days, I was coloring in this coloring book that I got on Amazon, but I was using my Prisma colors that I haven't done in a long time because I wanted to experiment with pencil crayon. I love the way it looks. It's just, it takes forever to color in pencil crayon, so I'm kind of over it. I will finish this page. However, the next ones that I'm gonna do definitely not in pencil crayon and I'm definitely gonna be using markers because it just takes so freaking long so far this Thanksgiving has been totally chill I don't normally do things on Thanksgiving I usually just take the day to rest like I don't see my family on Thanksgiving like all my cousins and stuff really? I thought you didn't like to be hamstrung by the holiday hoochie <laughs> yeah, well I'm bending a lot of rules for Christina I mean, this is the woman I'm planning on ringing in a new year with does she know that you wear the sash in a diaper even when no one asks you to? Skinny jeans have 12 belt loops. And my tank tops are 
tank tops. Crumbly too if you were living on dry toast and lemon wedges. Oop, jump scare. It's currently 10.42. I'm very clearly ready for bed. Did my full skincare routine. I'm thinking about actually doing a morning and night skincare routine video all in one because there are a couple new products probably since the last time I done a skincare routine. I don't even remember when I did that video. Look out for that because I think I'm gonna film that this week and it'll be up in the next couple of weeks. I'm about to head to bed. I'm actually thinking about journaling. My brain has been non-stop going and the reason why I know that because I have not been getting any good sleep lately and when that happens it's usually a signal that I have to write my thoughts out. There we go. How perfect. Now we can chit chat while I on some lip balm. This is the Summer Fridays vanilla lip butter balm. Obviously it's my favorite one. I used to have a mint one and I used to have the pink sugar one. I have no idea where that one is. I think the mint one is in my gym bag. The pink sugar one, I literally could not tell you where that one is. However, my sister gave me the iced coffee one. I would not buy this myself. I would not also buy the hot cocoa one even though I'm so tempted to get that one. It doesn't smell like iced coffee. I would say that this one smells like kind of like caramel. While I'm already ready for bed, let's talk about what I'm currently reading. This is You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose, also the author of The Perfect Marriage. I believe this is like my 32nd book of the year. Let me fact check that. My goal for this year was 24 books. I'm definitely over 30. This is my 32nd book of the year and we still have a good like two and a half months left in the year. The reason I had downloaded this book in the first place was because I saw Neva Rose's husband promoting this book on TikTok. The way he described it was just so good and then I had downloaded it a while ago intending to read it during like spooky season and here we are. Knowing Geneva Rose and the way she writes her thriller books, I'm I'm really looking for like context clues to figure out what's going on. Right now, it's not scary at all. Only one spooky thing has really happened. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of leaning towards like a romance and I know that sometimes thrillers put romance in them. Not sure how I feel about that. Also, I'm not sure anyone is wondering my hair. I'm trying to minimize the heat that I use on my hair. That being said, I also just bought myself my first blow dryer. I don't even know how many years, maybe like six years. I used to have a blow dryer in high school that I shared with my sister. She took that when she moved out. Even back then, I stopped blow drying my hair because I heard that like the heat obviously is bad for your hair. But now I heard a TikTok where it's like hair drying your hair is very bad for your head because you can grow like bacteria on your scalp. And I'm like, whoa, I don't know what to believe. Everything is just contradicting itself lately. I've been dealing with a lot of like hair loss issues for what feels like over a year now and it's so frustrating. So I'm trying out this overnight curling situation. This is my second time that I'm doing it. I got one of those like rod thingies and so far it's working. The good part about doing this is I don't have to spend time in the morning doing my hair. Very rarely will I vlog just like one day anymore but I think that is where I'm gonna leave this vlog. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Having Thanksgiving in October makes sense because there's a gap between Thanksgiving and then Halloween, which is two weeks after Halloween. And I'm talking like November 1st. This year it has to be when I come back from vacation, early November, Christmas trees. I get to celebrate Christmas for like um, almost two months. And that to me is the most wonderful time of the year. On that topic of Christmas, let me know if I should do Vlogmas the proper way this year, where I vlog every single day, upload every single day up to Christmas day, or if I should just continue on with the weekly uploads that I used to do. I hope you guys got to spend some quality time with your family. I'm super thankful for you guys and having this creative outlet. You guys literally been a part of my life since I was 17. I'm now 24 all throughout my university life and now post-university. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!